Hi, I'm Vicki Carter. I'm an educator from South Carolina. Today I'd like to share with you a math-inspired activity utilizing TI-inspired technology. In this activity, we will explore Riemann sums. This is an activity that I use with my calculus students. We all know that we'd like for the students to gain understanding of the definite integral by looking at the area under the curve and learning how to approximate the area under the curve using rectangles. This TNS document will help students understand how to use rectangles, both left endpoint, right endpoint, midpoint, and trapezoids to gain understanding of the approximation method that is commonly called Riemann sums. So often in my classroom, before I had a document such as this, I would actually go to the board and draw rectangles. Very ineffective. So I'd like to share with you this document that will allow students to explore this activity. The title is The Area Sum Approximation of Integrals. The second page simply gives students some instruction. And the third page is the heart of the activity. If you notice, the settings begin with n equal to 10 and left rectangular approximation method indicated by the L in the slider bar. There is a wonderful student document, paper document, that you may share with your students as you go through this activity. Notice that in this document, it gives the students the name of the TNS file as well as a screenshot of the first page so that you can make sure students are actually have the document opened on their calculator and are ready to begin. One of the important parts of this student document, paper document, is this table in which students will actually find a wonderful part of this activity is this table in which students will use the TNS document to find the approximate area using two rectangles, four rectangles, eight rectangles, 16 rectangles, and 32 rectangles. I will now show you how to use this TNS document to accomplish this. Notice that we are set on 10 rectangles, so the first thing the student needs to be able to do is grab the slider bar and move it to n equals 2. I'll demonstrate that to you. So now the students will see two rectangles with left endpoints as the approximation method. They see the area approximation. That would be the sum of these two rectangles, the areas of these two rectangles, as well as the exact area under the curve. As the students complete the table by increasing the number of rectangles, or the value of n. They should see that the area approximation is getting closer to the exact area under the curve. There are some wonderful guiding questions on the student document that ask them to explain what they see as the rectangles increase from n equals 2 to n equals 32. The next part of the document asks the students to change the approximation method from left rectangles to right rectangles. The students will accomplish this by moving the open circle from the L through the M to the R, the R representing the right rectangular method. They also go back to see what the area approximation of the two rectangles would be, and then increase them in to 4, 8, 16, 32, so that they can see that the approximation of the sums of the areas of the rectangles is actually approaching the exact value of the area under the curve. There are also some wonderful questions about whether this approximation is an over approximation or an under approximation. If you recall, 
For the left endpoint rectangles, this approximation would be an under approximation. Whereas, with the right rectangles, this is an over approximation. There are also some guiding questions about changing the method to midpoint rectangles. So as the students change that slider to the M, they will see now that their rectangles, the heights of those rectangles are actually determined by the midpoint of the interval. There are some wonderful questions about whether this approximation technique is different from the right or the left, and most students are able to see that this is a better approximation method. There are also some questions about could you think of another way to do the approximations of the areas of the rectangles? And hopefully the students would think to perhaps average the left and the right. In that case, they would be looking at trapezoidal sums, and you have the ability to show them how to do trapezoidal sums with moving the slider bar to the T. This is a fantastic demonstration to help students understand that there is a difference between the midpoint rectangular approximation method and the trapezoidal approximation method. Students often confuse these two techniques. I hope you have enjoyed seeing a demonstration of this TI Inspire document in which the students gain deeper understanding of the approximation of the area under a curve through the use of left endpoint, right endpoint, and midpoint rectangles. Thank you.